there's there's um, Bizol, there's uh, Sony, there's uh, Zanetto, and then there's Valdo. And Valdo hasn't been in in the Seattle market before. It's it's new to the market. Where do we get it? Well, you get it at the wine shop. You ask them for Valdo, and and uh, Pete's will have this. You can get it from here too. Well, yeah, you can get it from here too. That's true. <laughs> It's called, all right, now, it is a Prosecco style wine. Pro, it's a Prosecco style. Prosecco is a sparkling wine from, normally from the north of Italy, from the area immediately north of Venice, in the Veneto, where they grow the grapes for this, this style of wine. Normally, they've been calling the grapes Prosecco, but they're actually, no, they're actually called Glera. Well, these grapes are grown in Sicily. They're grown in the eastern half of Sicily, and it's a red grape called Narello Mascalese, just to make things complicated. But, but this is using these grapes and the juice of these grapes transported to the north of Italy and, and vinified in the Prosecco style by the Valdo Company. So it's, it's an unusual wine even in Italy, there's not an awful lot of sparkling rosé. And, and he's, he's, he's really... Why do they take it up to the northern to make it? Why don't they because, make well, they, because it, the, the equipment is expensive. It is, it is made not in the traditional French style of a, a second fermentation in the same bottle. The champagne method, the Prosecco method, is... Uh, is actually known as the Charmat method, and it is a giant autoclave, a stainless steel tank, in which the secondary fermentation takes place, and then the fizzy wine is bottled, capped, and shipped. So it's, it's a really nice little wine. I use, I Ron, I'm going to have, ask you to multitask. Yes. I'm, going to, I'm going to attempt to moderate when I don't hear Enza talking. Uh, yeah. It looks to me like she's put basil on and some sort of a cheese to yeah, it. Yeah, I'm coming and I will cut it. Our piece. So, she, she makes these up the way you would make a ham sandwich in the middle of the night except that she's using on this home-baked bread, uh, and Greece is going to bring them out, uh, cherry tomatoes, anchovies, and a little uh, uh, shavings of Parmigiano cheese, the real thing, and uh, basil, drizzled with, with olive oil. Oui, 